Oh. oh, hey, hey, guys. Good morning. Jedi Rich here. Today we're going to do sour diesel. Now, sour diesel is a cross between Mexican sativa and chem dog. So those two combine to make this, which is called sour diesel. Now, sour diesel is great if you suffer from any sort of PTSD, if you have anxiety and depression or bipolar disorder or any of that stuff or a sense of that, this has been known to relate to that. To my personal experience is that I had PTSD really bad and that turned into depression, anxiety. I was even diagnosed with bipolar disorder. That the pharmaceutical industry has so much power in this country that they do not want you to know about this. In fact, they sponsor all the social media platforms that you are watching. If you're healthy, a virus won't kill you. And the healthiest people are people that are fit. Let's be healthy physically and mentally. Now, a lot of times, working on your outside doesn't do any good until you fix what's going on upstairs. So in the case of being depressed or having PTSD, until you deal with that stuff upstairs, you can go to the gym all you want, but you will not effectively lose weight and keep it off for any substantial amount of time because your head is still messed up. So as soon as you stop persevering or willing yourself to go to the gym and willing yourself to eat whatever you're not eating, as soon as you stop that, you will fall right back into where you're at because you haven't dealt with what's up here. Fix the inside first before you work on the outside. Have you ever heard that? I mean, you get a car in a junkyard, right? You know it's a great car, but you've got no paint job, it's all rusted out, the engine is crap, etc., etc. Do you work on the outside first? Or do you want to fix the engine and get the engine dialed in? And then you want to fix the transmission and you want to fix the, you know, the steering and the wheels and, and suspension and all that. And then you want to give it a paint job. So that's what I'm saying. So before you head to the gym, before you start a diet program, let's work on getting healthy. Rather than being retarded or schizo, what I chose to do was I would smoke daily marijuana. And the reason why I smoke daily marijuana is because it makes me feel better throughout the day. It makes my head run so that I feel less depressed. Good morning, Mickey. 0831 minutes right now. Hey, we're doing sour diesel today. Now, sour diesel is a, is a cross between Mexican sativa and chemdog. It's a great morning time to start the day. Strain. So when you wake up, instead of coffee, you start off with this. And look at those nice hairs on there. It's really dense. It's definitely one that kind of wakes you up in the morning, gives you a real, real sharp uh, cerebral high, so you're really focused on what's going on. And it also relieves a lot of anxiety. It's good for bipolar disorder, any sort of chronic pain, depression, fatigue, and some people have said it helped their PTSD. Now, sour diesel is a cross between Mexican sativa and chem dog. And those are uh, very high lineage strains. So you have Mexican sativa and chem dog, and those bred sour diesel. Now, sour diesel is a 90% sativa, meaning that it's for morning time. The terpenes, the smells you get are very citrusy, very sweet, a little bit dank, kind of a little diesel -y smell, of course, you know, that dankness. And it's primarily because of the terpenes that are in there. And this is what I do every morning to start the day, and Jack Joy will follow after me. And when it, when it comes over, it, it's weird because it kind of breaks through and it just, it just tickles everything. <laughs> it, it tickles my stomach, tickles my brain. It, it's just a really weird thing. And then, then the medicine kind of sets in and then it kind of deals with the PTSD or the anxiety bipolar disorder that I was dealing with. Oh, yeah, that's the other thing too, is that this particular strain is really good if you suffer from any anxiety, any bipolar disorder, any uh, PTSD. I had PTSD after 9-11. It's hard to describe, but let's put it this way. They did not understand what I was feeling for the last 20 years because they did not have the life that I had. You know, I was world traveled, they stayed home. And so as a result, they couldn't relate. I had nobody to talk to. And the people I worked with, well, they were all much older and they were all married because so they were all kind of all in their own thing. I was 
doing my job. I was, I was sitting, a, a super achiever, actually. And this is what I'm here to educate you guys about because this is the new thing. In case you haven't tried it out, this is what keeps you healthy. You hear about all this stuff about getting vaccinated, about staying healthy, about not dying from viruses. The best way not to die from a virus is to be healthy in the first place. The people most at risk from dying from any flu virus are those that are obese. And the best way to not be obese is to, well, lose weight. And the best way to lose weight I found was to work on what's going on upstairs first. Once that's set, then we can work on the outside. But going to the gym and trying to work out and lose weight while the inside is still messed up is futile. And a lot of us go to the gym because we are depressed. I went to the gym because I was depressed. It made me feel better. And I'd leave the gym and I'd feel better, but it was temporary because it, it was solving the symptoms, it wasn't curing the actual depression. This will cure your depression. This will cure your PTSD, you know, cure your anxiety and bipolar disorder. I know, I've been diagnosed with all those things. At one point, my doctors had me on five medications at the same time. Anyways, so what's gonna happen now is I'm gonna do this bong hit. It's gonna come over me really hard. Don't let that scare you. Good morning, folks. You'll probably even notice that I'm talking more relaxed now. And you can understand me better. A lot of it is because my anxiety has been reduced. Now, I just hit this, so, you know, there's smoke. It's, it kind of takes about a couple minutes to settle in. And if there's a little left over, you know, you don't want to, um, I don't know, be disrespectful to gods. Now, my mom, she hates drugs. She hates weed. Now, my mom don't like it. Who knows why? My daddy had cancer. She barely, I had to beg her to give her some. Give her some. The guy was dying in a, in a few months. And she wouldn't even, you know, I, she did, he did take some. She's like, oh, he didn't like it. But you know what? That's very strange because most people that do marijuana like it. I have a lot of experience with life, death, um, loss. Uh, not to mention just all my experience with computers. I just understand banking and computers and payment processes and the whole infrastructure background on that. Really good. But, you know, is that really that interesting? I mean, how, how, how am I going to live for? What do I want to talk about with my few days here? Do I want to educate you guys about how to pay your bills online? Or do I want to educate you guys about how to make your lives feel better so your kids feel better, so their kids feel better, and so on. This is legal for a reason. God put this in front of you. for You're watching me for a reason. I'm only saying God because a lot of people are religious and don't like to do weed. Well, think about it. Why is this here? Well, I mean... It's <clears throat> whatever you want to believe. I mean, it's like I know that see, the religion will go on to say, well, I'm the devil and I'm tempting you away from faith. Well, that's just man telling you that. So anyways, have a great day, guys. I'm going to fucking start my day. I got my medicine. I'm good to go. Show the little shorties how you pump the day. Not to death. I'm not impressed. I'm not amused. I'm not confused. I'm not to do. I'm a grown man business. I'm not in school. Put your hand down, youngin'. This is not for you. I'm my jail, my feet with the Kanye, yo. Your name on the marquee, your name off the payroll. Style fresh, like I'm still a day, yo. And it's been like that since the day, yo. On more time than a Rolly or Senko. Step on deck, your neck, or do what I say so. Get, get up or get out, get down and lay down. Shadows, 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 shadows. Open Jedi, I am. Black Jedi, Black Jedi. Let's move. Let's move. Shout out to my man Kelly Kwame. We on top. Shout out, shout out. Check it out. Check it out. Slim Jedi. You cast a big shadow. Cherokee red to shoot the long arrow. Got more skill, more aim, and more ammo. You can get it all from a big or small barrel like Hail Mary, full of 
Come and shoot up the place and make you pull up your face to death. I pull out the ace from the jungles of the Empire State where there ain't no escape. 247. 718, and that's like every night, every day. From the place that I settle and say to the states, I'm collecting my pay. Last off, and I'm back to the cave. Hold it down for my family straight. Representing a family way. Football, not for amateur play. Been raw since the amateur state before the press and the cameras raised. Like a long time out of the way, you understand the mystery. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. Excellent. And that's what it is, you see. 